Hello everyone, Aidloy here with another update. For the past two weeks, I migrated to the latest version of Pevi, so 013, and did some cleanup and some refactoring and started working on the actual drop interactions um, along with the tab containers. So you have a floating panel now, or well, I have a floating panel now that you can drop into tabs. And just to see how this works, um, I have already shown you the uh, resizable uh, panels here. So these are, these have been renamed, so these are not really the drop zones or the docking zones anymore. They are sized zones, so you can size them. The internal parts of these do not accept anything because they are just generic containers that you can resize. And to turn this into a docking zone, um, I have added a tab container, which is the actual thing that will hold your panel that you, are, that you want to drop into. So if I were to hover over the tab container, I can split it on the left, split it on top, on the right, on the bottom, or I can drop straight into the zone as a new tab. These tabs can also be rearranged. So if I don't like the order, I can do that. Currently, you cannot pull it out. So you cannot um, undock a panel by dragging, but you can do it uh, with a context menu. And now that I have a new panel, um, here is a little uh, thing that I'm currently working on. Uh, it's the actual support for recursive uh, things. You see that one disappeared, but uh, that's just a bug. Basically, the drop interaction was captured by the main panel and not the internal one. And sometimes you just get a, a little panic uh, from Taffy, actually, because currently the uh, the whole system is not um, scheduled correctly. So there is a, there is a little cl cleanup I have to do to make sure that actually every tab goes into the right place and that the topmost zone is the only interactive one. Uh, so you don't have a situation where you drop behind the highlighted area, which was the case in the previous um, example that I showed. When I dropped here, it actually went into the bottom half of the, uh, the floating panel and not the um, actual tab container it has. Of course, this is a, an exotic um, use case. You would not normally do such a thing, but it should be supported uh, in, in any case. Also, uh, you may have noticed that I removed all of the tabs, but the sized container is still here. This is because it is uh, it is an option to make them disappear when they are empty. Um, like the case with any zone that I create by dropping and splitting an existing zone. So if I were to pop this out, you see, uh, the left half is now gone. Um, I have also added uh, uh, the ability to collapse panels and then to close them. Anyway, um, that's that's the current state. I'm going to continue polishing this so there are no panics or bugs or weird little things anymore. I am also going to fix the um, the sizing of the panels or the, the, the size panels because as you've seen, when I drop into the sides of it. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes the thing gets bigger or, you know, a different size than it should be. Not the case uh, right now, but if I were to restart it and drop the thing here, you see in that rearrangement, that should not be there. These panels are split exactly 50-50%, so they should, like, stay uh, the same size they were and not, you know, jump around, which is weird. So anyway, um, this is something that I have to fix. And uh, as I said, a number of little things that <laughs> seems little, but they cause like panics and everything um, that I have to go through. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm going to work on. Once this is done, this is basically the last part of the layout elements that I'm going to work on. 
because at this point, I think I have covered every major um, layout situation that you can imagine, and you can compose them to to uh, to, to create other uh, situations. And to, to create one of these docking panels, the code is not much. It's basically just a docking zone. You have to configure it, and uh, you you get inside a tab container where you can just add your things, panels most likely. Um, and this is something that I'm also going to refactor a bit to remove the need for additional parameters here that could be, you know, uh, done similarly to styles. And then uh, with the major layouting done, I'm going to continue with theming. And once that's done, it's going to be text all around. But for now, that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching. Have fun. Ciao, ciao.